and he's a player that you want to get going if you're Hartford Athletic as well. Danny Barrera, great ball. Curling around the outside. Nice little cut back. And this shot is in from Prince A.D. And Hartford have a dream beginning under a new manager. Otter Shock and Loudon. Talk about having relationships with the player in front of you. As Rico pushes wide, Sadie comes into the interior and just breaks the line. A little bit of individual magic. The swivel of the hips uses the momentum against him to cut up Morris. And as he catches Jalcom in cheating, exquisite finish to close his hips at the last second. Sneaks it into that near post. No celebration needed. The visitors, they have their goal in the first 10 minutes. Dream start on the road here. Learman. from Landry, it's still alive, Ryan through. Landry cuts it across, there's the tap in. Jackson Hopkins the finish. His third in nine games. And Loudon the level inside 20 minutes. From Loudon United, never a matter of if, it was a matter of when they find the back of the net with the quality that they have. Watch the off ball movement, quick touches, slow in rotation for Hartford Athletic. And as this ball comes across, it's all about unselfishness here from Landry. Picks up his head, he draws out. Bryce dishes it off to Hopkins, off to the corner. The quality, such an easy finish for a player of that quality. We talk about the build-up play. Quick between lines, clean between lines, decisive between lines. And that man has to be a very happy manager in terms of their reaction. See, now you're in trouble. <laughs> Just watch the watch out. Turned over. That is Williamson. Williamson! He's waited all night for this moment. It's arrived. Loud and laid. Going to sniff out a half opportunity as Rod plays this square. That's a big no-no, especially in your defensive half. But what ensues? Composure, quality of the highest order. Picks his corner, executes it to perfection. Williamson has a sub. You want to come into this game and impact it positively in terms of your energy, in terms of your quality, and does just that. Ball launched downfield. Long run for Fjeldberg. Rounding the corner, playing the cross to Hanna! What a start for Colorado Springs! The first firework of the night. one nothing. less than 100 seconds in. Ships all over the field. As Williams pops in, Fjeldberg understands there's going to be real estate to get in behind and stretch your opposition. If you're Kai Green, there's no need to go so wide. But it's all about the movement, getting off the shoulder for Tejada between Hugh Roberts and Maury Doner. But what a fantastic goal this is. He doesn't need to hit it too hard. Just needs to get clean contact. As this ball's coming across, squeaks into that near post. Nothing Herrera can do. Dream start to the home side. Get their goal within the first two minutes. Early down the line, Beckford came in late in the first half. Bouncing ball, rebound, tipped in! And Colorado Springs have another! It's Echeverria! It took 91 seconds in the first half. It takes less than 20 now! The break say how quickly can Shane Beckford make his impact felt? How quickly can he get? on the front foot as this ball rotates over. Just look at the movement. There's no need to get that tight. If you're Grant Robinson, you fall down, and it's all about decision making. You put a ball in a dangerous area, good things happen. Bit of confusion between Herrera and Green. And Javrio, due to his hard work, gets a better body position of Yoseki. It's slow from the center midfielder, so understand. A little change of angle, gets rewarded for it. Dream start once again for the switchbacks to get their goal. There's 20 seconds, it's coming out of the break. 2-0 to the home side. Carlos Herrera to try and keep Monterey Bay in the match. Dubious or not, Romario Williams steps to the ball and scores!
his eighth of the season. Horn has any question for Mario Williams. Cool as you would like, opens up his hip, sends Herrera the wrong way. Quality, 3-0. Switchbacks in the driver's seat here at home on 4th of July. A little dance to go with it. Team celebration, you love to see it if you're Stephen Hogan. Lidl. And you see Echeverria pull out in front. Wiggling through. Williams. And struck out a line. Oh! Echeverria, a stunner! Are you kidding me? A laser beam! But things are going your way. Things are going your way as this ball pops out. So many times you say after training, tell your assistant coach just to pop this back to me. For hopes to execute it on game day just like this. Head down, just ropes this thing into this near post. Herrera never stands a chance. Zicky loves it, the fans love it. Echeverria gets his brace on the day. 4-0 to the home side and it just hasn't materialized from that point it hasn't progressed the way we thought it might do they are pressing in the right spot that's a bad back pass that time a shaky decision there and now it's on for New Mexico United going four versus three good build up here a one two dribbling and a finish spectacularly done there Amando Moreno a beautiful goal ball up deep here he's, he's been direct he's running at them he's got the overlap on the outside but this is where it's perfect the, the return ball and honestly for the lights you'd be a little bit disappointed there Carroll was a little bit of a passenger didn't didn't track the one two Moreno lovely touch and a really good finish full credit to him but you would expect the lights to be a little bit more urgent in the defensive I've also been able to go through the gears and just Keep possession when needed as well today as we know that the conditions are very difficult flag stays down here is Carlton big rebound another touch and a tying goal he took his time and he is rewarded Oteo flies right before halftime is poor Las Vegas level Again from Carlton, coming on the edge of the box, as we've seen. But here, I was like, oh, he's wasting his chances, wasting his chance. But the composure is brilliant, and what a finish. He's absolutely smashed. There's nothing the goalkeeper could do. And, well, it's just what the lights deserve. For the last five minutes, they've creeped back into the game. Stalford down the right has produced a couple of good balls into the box and take the defenders out of the game again. And what a finish it was in the end. I thought the same as you, Andrew. He took himself into traffic. I thought the chance was begging. This is another opportunity, and it's into the roof of the net. Within a minute, New Mexico United reclaims the lead. Daniel Bruce, a workmanlike first half, and he is rewarded with the goal. Well-deserved goal. Here's Marino again running in behind. Drills it across. Nothing Diaz can do. Bruce actually took a touch, and then it's kind of a tackle to score. Driven, punched away by Tambakis. He had to scramble to get to that one. Stoffer clips it in. Tambakis with a hand on it. And it's a tiny goal. Spectacular hit in second half stoppage time. Maybe the last kick of the game. on the right hand side from Stafford he's put it in it's a weak weak punch from the goalkeeper and it's fallen to Gonzalez and he's absolutely levered that into the back of the net nothing the goalkeeper can do on the, the to save the volley and nothing less than this lights team deserved they were so unlucky on Saturday a last minute loss and then today to come back and get a draw and look what it means to those guys Bill Hamid Hamid will skip over his Central defenders will go out to the wing to Buckmaster. Oh, and there's a mix-up between he and Kelly, and now a two-on-two -two with San Antonio. There's a shot, and that is buried into the back corner by who other than Tani Olawashi in the 15th minute.
San Antonio, that's why they're the champions. You make a mistake, they don't give you much of a margin for error to atone for it. Yeah. Peters had made a huge run up the field. They didn't even have a second center half. And it's just, yeah, it's poor. It's a great finish, but played on a plate for Tani Alawashi. I mean, a man of his t talent and um, caliber is never going to miss that. I mean, like I said, Jelani Peters had made a 50-yard run to try to get on the ball on the break. We, did, we actually didn't have a left-sided center half, and I have no idea what they were doing back there. No idea. And how about that pass by Jorge Hernandez? Just <laughs> looking for Pickering. That's picked off by Lamar Batista, and now he's looking for Olawashi again. He's Olawashi away. gets around far side. He's going to cut to the middle. He's got some help, and there's a good read by Hamid. Can't keep it off of uh, the foot of Olawashi. It's deflected, and the second chance is in the back of the net. And here in the 26th minute, it's a goal and a brace now for Tani Olawashi. A bit, there's another look at this. It, it's innocent enough. Shoulder to shoulder, perfectly yeah. legal on Graham Smith. He's got a zoker in the middle. Looks for a zoker. That is spilled by Hamid. It, and then the second yeah. chance, the second bite of the apple, he got it. Here's another really good look. What do you see here, coach? Yeah, I mean, he, he should be getting tighter here, not letting that ball across. Then it's, Hamid should... You know, he should claim that. And then it's once it's fumbled, it's all over the place. But, you know, he shouldn't be probably bullied like that as well. He's out on the sideline. You know, we know what uh, Tani Oliwashi's trying to do. You've got to stand him up and be strong with him. And from here, it's just ridiculous, really. I mean... matter, it is out of bounds. And that'll be a San Antonio throw. He'll take that quickly. Works that to Jorge Hernandez. He's got space in the middle of the box. Will he take it himself? Decides to step to the top of the box. Lays it off. There's a shot, and there's the hat trick. For Tani Olawashi in the 40th minute, what a beautiful layoff. Side foots it, picks his spot. This is beautiful work, though, to set up this goal. The layoff is perfect. Yeah, I mean, two of them, I think, got done on the sideline by Hernandez. I think he flicks it over someone's head, maybe, and... Yeah, it's... Again, it's lit. it's just it's a great finish, right? Don't I'm not going to take that away from the man, but it's a little bit too easy from the sideline. No foul call. Advantage played by the referee. Here's Jorge Hernandez cuts inside with his right foot back to his left. Down goes Hamid. He chips it in, and that was an easy goal for Jorge Hernandez, who now has a goal to go with two assists. Once he got Hamid to the ground, anything in the air was going to do, and now San Antonio takes a 4-0 lead here in the 50th minute. Fantastic. By Hernandez. Look at this work against Buckmaster. And then in comes Jeremy Kelly. In comes Graham Smith. It's yeah. one on four, and he makes no short chance, work. Yeah. <clears throat> he's crafty, he's quick, but it, it shouldn't it shouldn't have been this easy for them. You know, just before this, we saw Alawashi again. Be it's a difficult shot for Rivas to even take with that left, with the angle that he was on. Oh, oh played through Murphy, a partial break. Murphy goes top oh! shot. He won't miss from there. Kyle Murphy on the board in the 15th minute. That goal brought to you by Wheels. Gives Miami a seed early advantage over Phoenix, 1-0. Press on it, forced the mistake by Crutzen. A man with Murphy's experience and ability isn't going to miss from there very often. Yeah, just the whiff from Crutzen, and Murphy had to help behind him, he didn't need it. That's a lovely composed finish. Fifth goal of the season for Kyle Murphy. Full back making his way into the box. Now, a chance here for Ryzen to break. Thorne misses it, trail again, trail by two defenders, and calmly he puts it in, it's 1-1. That's pure class there from Trejo to get this game level, and all of a sudden Juan Guerra. What a goal again. The weight of that pass was just perfect. Thorne was beaten, as was then Dejas. And Miami got off to a good start here in the second half. They've done a much better job here the last couple minutes of possession. Segabers with some space. Christian Sordo shoots and he scores!
working weak side against Rios Novo. He made him pay cheat in the opposite way. Miami FC back on the board. Second lead of the night brought to you by Wheels. It's 2 1 Miami. He really should do better here, but it was a beautifully placed shot by Swanes Segbers off to the races. He shaped up like he was going to try and curl it inside the far post. That goes Rios Novo. You'll see him just lean slightly to his left. And that's a beautiful finish by Sordo. Now open out, slips, and it's taken away. Martin plays it ahead. Here's Moshoban, gets away from one. Stutter steps, has a man wide open, finds him 1v1. Here's Conway and a goal. Evan Conway with his seventh of the season, and San Diego gets on the board first. He's far too, he doesn't need to be coming into the left-hand side. There's already two players there. He gets caught in no man's land. He should be further over. He should be much closer to Evan Conway instead of trying to stop the ball from getting in the back of the net. Bodily in the middle of the motion bay. He's got room and momentum. Still with it. Plays it, man open. Conway scores. And Joe Rice is furious. He can do good things, but he gave it away. And as a result, there was no one to help cover on the right-hand side. There's still a heck of a lot of work to do, but that's not a tackle by Tristan Hodge. Conway all by himself, daintily, uses the left foot to beat Rice. But up top, you're going to see Harrison Robledo getting some more minutes. He's played consistently, but mostly off the bench. Inserting him into the starting lineup means what for Mark Lowry tonight? Well, there's a couple things that he brings. Opportunity bring. here. Erdl oh. couldn't get there. And that's a goal for FC Tulsa. Erdl could not make the run. Moses Dyer gets his third goal of the season. And once again, Indy will chase it just five minutes in. What FC Tulsa just did. Yeah, there is nothing in this. It's an attempt to clear, just a miss hit, and then it winds up, as we've seen throughout the course of the season, it winds up at the feet of a forward, unmarked in the 18. Moses Dyer from New Zealand, last played for Valor FC in the Canadian Premier League. Feel like a 10 match unbeaten streak. It's incredible when you look at the Rowdy Slate, that certainly is the case. They haven't played their best soccer over the last few weeks, but they have not dropped a decision. And here's Dahlgaard now attacking for Tampa Bay. Goal! Cal Jennings breaks through. And the Rowdies on the board early. <laughs> All starts with Charlie Daniels sucking in the defense. So plays behind the back of Kane. And then Seb Dahlgaard puts it on a platter. And Cal Jennings, you still have to put it in the back of the net. That conversion rate just goes up a little. Drew, that guy has a voice louder than yours. Am I that loud? My goodness. <laughs> Jennings again. He's got some wheels. Cal Jennings, score! Do it yourself, Cal Jennings. Rowdy's lead, 2-0. He sees the daylight. He shimmies and tucks it right into the corner. He goes to his right and hooks it back left. Leaves it now for Dennis. Charlie Dennis. Good patience. Dahlgaard with it. Seb Dahlgaard Ooh. cutting it back. Oh! oh! Ring up another. Cal Jennings, the hat trick is in place and what a combo this has been he takes kevin right for a drive and then serves it up right into carl jennings who has to make that run through look at carl jennings get right into the view of blanchett mccabe will deliver mccabe near post like that saved off the line and put it Cameron Lancaster cleans up and makes it 1-0 Louisville. We'll 
have broken the curse. They have it. Starts great delivery here from McKay. Great run to the near post from Sharpie, who directs his header on target. And Lancaster just hanging at the back post. One of the easiest goals he'll score in his career. Able to convert this charge for Louisville City. And you can see the release of frustration from this team. So Moreno now intercepts that pass. Looking for Bruce. Bruce plays the cross in. Wagner heads home at the back post. New Mexico takes the lead here in the 83rd minute. And the lab was just waiting for that. At this TLC replay, it was Moreno to Bruce. That's exactly what you need. Enzo Martinez clipping it to the back post. Free header is in. Juan Agudelo on the score sheet. You mentioned the threat in the air from Juan Agudelo. It materializes a half hour in, and Birmingham have a lead at Cashman. Oh. Martinez just went down to line and just dug it up to the back post. And Agudelo, how he's going back from goal and how he's got enough power to beat Diaz is it's just quality. Just perfect ball, perfect header. Pasher, good first touch. Keeps the momentum going forward. Finds Enzo Martinez. He knocks it down. It's back to Pasher. Good build up. What a goal from Birmingham. Those two combined again. It's Pasher finishing off a great setup with Enzo Martinez. He, brought, he first came into the midfield. 1 2, round the corner, and then just a first time finish into the bottom corner. Nothing Diaz can do about it. Boy, what a finish. And even before that, you played the position, you know. That's towards the near post. Agadello heads away. It's back to Oateng. Oateng bending it. Headed back across the face. It put in by Foz. He may have taken it from Preston, but no matter. Foz on the score sheet. And on the hour mark, Las Vegas within a goal. And there's the goal we said was coming. The lights, it was another great ball into the box. <laughs> great ball for Moulton, all the way to the back post. Zach Carroll making amends for last week, coming on his bench, getting assist. And who was it in the end who got the final touch? Was it Pato or was it Preston? Great ball for Moulton, lovely header from Carroll. And I think it's Preston with the goal. It is hard to tell from that angle, one or the other, who celebrates more. Preston lets it run. Beautiful here from Preston. Agudelo tries to take him down. He can't. Preston crossing. It's spilled. Tying goal from Compton. Vegas have fought back and have tied it up. And a big smile for Andrew Carlton. His first goal of the season. Getting this man Preston down the line. What a cross. Like absolutely perfect. Nothing the goalkeeper would do. He has to come. And there is Carlton running into that space. And he won't have an easier finish. But absolutely incredible from the lights, honest. To the back post, headed back across the face. It's fallen. Enzo Martinez has scored. Hit the post earlier. Two assists on the night. Now his name on the score sheet. And from a corner kick, Birmingham Legion have regained the lead. Enzo Martinez with his seventh on the year. Ball in, into the edge of the box, to the back post, headed across. <laughs> Mitrano, you want to see Mitrano putting everything through that. He's got to just smash it clear. He doesn't manage to. Agadell puts him off and the boss is just <laughs> literally put a little toe punt on it. And Birmingham getting a, a lucky escape to be 3 2 back up. Back up 3 2. Crafty little bit of skill there, but the final ball not there. Grayson DuPont. Yeah, nice little use of the body from DuPont, wasn't it? Read the bounce. Ledesma, nice touch for Pato Foz. He's tied it up. Ledesma is the bench place provider, and Pato Foz delivers Las Vegas its second straight game with a second half stoppage time equalizing goal. Brilliant from Ledesma placed it into his path but he took his time and he's just did it hits it low and hard nothing Von Oakle could do he kind of kept because he took his time 
Vanoko became stranded. Cabretta set to take the uh, corner kick. And here it comes inside a header, and it's a goal. Toro's in front, one to nothing. Team Akwe, the player that had just gotten a little bit of acknowledgement, makes his presence known right here to the defender. Takes a spectacular leap and uses his head. Before this one, Akwe with a beautiful flick on toward the uh, far side. Nadarse. The left side to Ruiz. And now goes into Pinzon, who has a chance here to run forward. And he'll send it over to Ricketts, who's just entered the area. Ricketts from 18, a big save. No, it goes into the net. Shuttler could not kick it out of the box. And it's a goal for the Toros. They double the lead. Jonathan Ricketts had a really nice angle here and put a spectacular strike on that. And that ends up high and in the corner. Look at the force here. Shuttler hits it, but just cannot get enough.